This module covers both catching the high ball and claiming a mark. When the opposition kicks the ball to your team, they not only give away possession, but provide you with the ideal opportunity to counter-attack before the defense gets organized. It's essential that you're able to communicate clearly and catch the ball confidently so you can use the opportunity to attack the space and gain ground while maintaining possession. Becoming an expert at catching the high ball requires regular and consistent practice for it to become automatic. Whenever the opposition kicks at your team, follow the ball from the moment it leaves the kicker's foot so you can keep track of it and get an understanding of how far the ball will travel. If you assess that your best place to catch the ball, call loudly, my ball, so that you do not jump into your own teammates. This allows your teammates to realign and become supporting players for you. Assess whether the ball can be caught by staying on the ground or if you need to jump. You have to jump when catching the ball under pressure and defenders are closing in on you. They are not allowed to tackle you in the air. This would give you the best chance of winning the ball in the air and gaining the momentum for your team going forward. While catching the ball, hold your ground and get a clear read on it. Begin to anticipate where the ball will land and move in behind this target area. If you see that the ball is going over your head, quickly move back Readjust yourself, take smaller steps. This will keep you agile and allow you to focus on the ball. Push your chest out and extend your arms above the eye line in the direction of the ball as if you are taking aim. Keep your elbows inward so the ball cannot drop through the basket when you bring it in. Your eyes must keep tracking the ball into your hands, which stay soft and cushion the ball by bringing it towards you. By bringing it in, you are slowing it down, preventing it from bouncing off of you. If you are on the ground, catch the ball at eye level. If you're catching in the air, catch the ball above your head so your eyes stay on the ball and your eyes, hands and ball form a straight line. Time to jump to meet the ball in the air. This will take practice. Be aggressive in your approach and jump as high as possible. To jump, use the stiff leg deadlift action to help you propel yourself as high as possible. Drive into the ground with the non-jumping leg, creating force, and push off the opposite knee into the air. The front knee bends to 90 degrees. Positioning yourself side on, plus minus 45 degrees to protect yourself from the opponents. Another key point when jumping the ball is to time the jump. You don't want to jump too early or too late. So a, a good tip to use here is using the stiff leg deadlift exercise, which will allow you to propel towards the ball. Brace your body in anticipation of being tackled by taking a strong stance as you land. Lower your center of gravity. Land with your body turned about 45 degrees, the same way you went up, and look up and assess the situation after catching the ball and decide whether you want to attack or you want to counter kick. Once you've caught the ball, you want to turn your back towards the opponent. This will allow you to protect the ball as well and you won't knock it on. Sometimes, as you approach catching a high ball, you realize that you're isolated in your own 22. The opposition wing might be pressing up and applying pressure. This is a difficult and dangerous situation to attack from because the ball can just get turned over easily. The best and safest option is to claim a mark. A mark is a means of suspending the play and winning a free kick by directly catching an opponent's kick in your own 22 or your in-goal area, and by shouting, mark. As you catch the ball, you should also signal an L shape with your arm to indicate to the ref that you call the mark. This is helpful in noisy stadiums, or if you cannot shout due to wearing a gum guard. If 
the mark is correctly claimed, the player who caught the ball is awarded a free kick, which will put your team on the offensive. Now let's get into the practice drills that will help you improve your technique and proficiency under the high ball and claiming a mark. Two players stand 7 to 10 meters apart. Player 1 throws the ball in the air, while player 2 applies the coaching points mentioned to catch the high ball. If you don't have a training partner, you can do this alone, both throwing and catching it yourself. Use an explosive stiff leg deadlift to explode upwards, trying to get as far off the ground as possible. Drive the knee into the air as you leap up. Two players stand 7 to 10 meters apart. Player 1 throws the ball in the air, while player 2 applies the coaching points to run up, jump and then catch the ball. As with draw 1, you can practice this alone. This is a progression on draw 3 and requires a tackle bag. Start by approaching the tackle bag, just practicing the jump. When you're comfortable, jump and catch. This might seem silly, but all you do in a stroll is catch and call mark simultaneously. It's so important that you're totally comfortable catching and calling at the same time. Catching the high ball takes a lot of practice. You should do it so often that your decision-making process, together with your actions, becomes second nature. Don't get discouraged if you feel like you are not getting there. Keep at it for 10 to 15 minutes before or after every training session. Here's a summary of the key exercises you will need to master catching the high ball and claiming a mark. For beginners to intermediates, do drills 1 to 3 about 20 times for 10 to 15 minutes before or after training sessions. While intermediate to advanced will focus on drill 3 to 5 20 times or 10 to 15 minutes before or after training sessions. Let's get into the fundamentals of kicking. Head over to Module 11 for tips and drills on how to become a greater kicker.